Welcome back guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today's video. Today we're going to be talking about Nikola Motors. Before I start the video guys, please make sure to leave a like on the video below. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Let's join the family guys. Come on, let's go on our investing journey together. So, today we're going to be talking about Nikola Motors. And if you guys don't know, Nikola Motors actually had some huge news this morning. Um, it looks like Trevor Milton, the founder and CEO of the company, is actually stepping down from the company. And this video overall is basically going to be me explaining what I personally think the future of Nikola Motors is going to be. If you guys don't know what Nikola does, they're kind of leaning towards the battery power truck industry. Um, they're going to be rolling out large battery power trucks in itself. And they are also in talks of a large pickup truck in itself, which is going to be the Badger. And if you guys don't know, I mean, Trevor Milton, the CEO slash founder of the company or ex-CEO slash founder of the company, basically came out swinging, was talking up his company a lot, and was basically over-promising all these things. He was saying that their cars are going to be the greatest. He was promising all these battery features, that their batteries were going to be way better than Tesla's, and basically just over-evaluating the company in his own mind, and he was relaying that information to investors. Mind you, this is all opinion and speculated. I'm not sure what the extent of what the exaggeration was, because that is currently still under research, but... Basically, Trevor Milton overall was overpromising all these things, and he was overpromising on when the vehicles, and basically he overstated the technical prowess of what the vehicles were going to be able to deliver, and people were starting to get skeptical. Then, General Motors picked up an 11% stake in Nikola, which a lot of people were shocked at because a lot of people were like, why would General Motors pick up an 11% stake of Nikola? Although, everything that Nikola is currently going through right now, all the stuff that, you know, that's being put on Nikola's plate, General Motors still sticks by their investment, and they still say that, yeah, you know, they believe in their investment in Nikola, they've done their due diligence, and they believe in the company, they think the company is going to go far places, so, even after the company is getting probed, you know, uh, they're getting, you know, basically investigated by the Department of Justice and all that stuff, General Motors still sticking through saying, we believe in our investment, we're going to stick it out, and they don't regret a single decision, even defending Nikola Motors from fraud allegations in itself, then, Hindenburg, which is a short seller on the stock, published a huge report on Nikola Motors basically stating that Nikola Motors was fabricating or overstating their technical prowess, saying that Trevor Milton quote-unquote lied to investors, saying that he was overstating of what the company was doing, how far along the company actually was, and they were overstating uh, on their delivery times and their battery power, so on and so forth. So that rolls around and then all that led to a more of an investigation of the Department of Justice, which is currently happening right now. They are re they are basically probing the company, seeing if uh, Trevor Milton actually did lie to the uh, to investors. They're checking if Trevor Milton actually did commit fraud in itself. And as of this morning, which is the biggest piece of news overall, that Trevor Milton, the CEO slash founder of the company, stepped down from the company itself, which led a lot of people to freak out, which is why the stock is actually down 20% today. And it led people to actually ask, like, what is the true intention right now behind Trevor Milton's motive? Because it doesn't look good for the CEO and founder of the company or ex-CEO founder of the company to step down in the middle of this whole allegation thing. It just doesn't look good for the company. It doesn't look good on the overall brand of Nikola Motors, and it doesn't look good for Trevor Milton. Overall, I think the last thing Trevor Milton should have done is step away from the actual company itself. I think he should have been there for his company. He should have helped the company fight the probes and the allegations and stuff like that. Instead, he ran away like a coward. I'm not trying to call it Trevor Milton or anything like that. I'm just stating the facts that he's basically letting the company fall that he created, and that just goes to show us that CEO, he doesn't believe in his company. He was saying all these things, saying that his company is going to be the best, and then the minute someone hits a fraud allegation on him, he backs away from it, and all of a sudden, he wants to step down. It just doesn't look good, and honestly, I don't like that Trevor Milton did that. Now, overall, on the Cola Motors, what do I think of the Cola Motors? At first, I was actually pretty bullish on the Cola Motors, and yes, I know I've gotten a lot of hate from it. Obviously, guys, I'm entitled to my opinion. Nothing I say on my uh, channel is financial advice or anything like that. It's just my personal opinion, but... As of now, I actually don't know where the company's headed. I'm actually leaning 50-50. I'm not bearish or bullish because I know that overall Nikola has a good business idea, but I think the people who are running Nikola Motors are not are seriously driving the company and the idea into the ground. As you guys know, the whole EV market in itself is blowing up like crazy. A lot of people are super, super bullish about Nikola Motors. 
And a lot of people are super, super bullish about the EV industry, but there's also the other side, guys. Remember, I'm not oblivious to this stuff, and I do know that I know that there's going to be bears on the cola, and I know there's also the bearish side of the EV industry in itself. Overall, I'm about 50-50 on the cola motors. I have to wait and see what the Department of Justice actually finds out and what they say is the company committing fraud and stuff like that, and I will be keeping you guys updated on that overall situation. All in all, I just wanted to give you guys an update video, let you guys know what's kind of happening. But with that being said, guys, that's all I really got to say about the video. Don't forget to leave a like on the video, guys, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.